This is Jeremiah with part two of the welcome to the New Covenant ministry here uh, for 2022. I decided to add a new welcome to up, update what's going on here um, um, with this ministry. Things have changed a little bit, uh, and I wanted to share that with you. And, you know, it doesn't hurt to have another introduction. On my old channel, I had about four introductions, at least. And I, I think they're, they're valuable. I think that, that there's value in you getting a backdrop, an introduction into what's going on. Uh, you don't necessarily need to do that. You can go right to the lesson, get to the meat and potatoes. You can go right to the honey and the sugar, or the honey and the uh, and the cake and whatever, you know, the good stuff. But uh, l l l let's continue. This is Jeremiah with New Covenant. We greet you in the only name given amongst men by which you must be saved, with lots of hallelujahs and praises and admiration to our Father and giving thanks. Uh, we, oh, thank we all our God. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, our Maker, and let us bless the Lord. And let's get going as I get into this uh, uh, four channels. We have a couple of channels here. I'm going to probably add uh, uh, some of the things to different channels, but uh, I won't talk about that right now. I wanted to talk about this being a non-monetized uh, church ministry, which is also called an educational institution. It, it, is, it is a private educational institution which has some Sunday school going on. Now the Sunday school that we have it is more along the lines of a Sunday school which is for teenagers. Now I've had to put that this uh, ministry has uh, children because I wanted this to be for 10, 11 year olds also. They have access to some of the adults, what we call general Bible teaching. It's okay to teach 10 and 11 year olds a little bit of sound doctrine and so forth. As in, in, in the history of America, uh, most of the churches here in America, such as I just saw a documentary, a docudrama on Alvin York, a very famous uh, soldier who got a ticker tape parade in New York and rejected the whole New York scene, went home, got married, and went back to his simple life, which I think was a good idea for Mr. York. Now, they, they have some uh, scenery or some scenes rather where the churches, everybody got together in one one room. Children, toddlers, everyone, and they listened to the to every message that is for adults to repent, that is for heaven and hell and damnation. Everybody got to the same room. Now in America, it's been a little more refined. Uh, a lot of churches I've been involved with, they will separate the children and so forth and, and, uh, and have grade levels, which I think is, is a superior uh, presentation. However, I do like the idea of everyone being together uh, during worship and even some study, even for toddlers. I, I think it helps with discipline and I think it helps with the family unit and uh, that is probably the negative aspect to the idea of setting grade levels and separating into a foyer and a main sanctuary and then the adjacent uh, abreast uh, rooms for the children and so forth. Uh, I decided to mesh them together a little bit like Sergeant York and his hometown church there, and I think that was Kentucky or Tennessee, uh, where everyone is basically going to be, listen to a lot of the same things. Now, I have toned things down pertaining to repentance, baptism, and damnation, and things of this nature uh, for 2022. Most of my videos will be on beauty this year, and that is the focus of this uh, this duration. We even have some romance videos of some classic romance music with, with uh, some scriptures in them uh, and some classical music. And we have some scriptures in front of the beauty so that we can mix this together and make it palatable for the modern man, so to speak. But I'm, I'm happy with that. We're, we're going to stick with that for a while. I haven't changed my mind with fathers leading me as to what to do with uh, getting into a little gray area because romance music is not necessarily, uh, it can cause heartache, it can cause a lot of sadness. And we're not, we're not here to do that. So, uh, and I'm aware of these dangers because I, my mind is sharp. It, it, the Bible says that it's sharper than a two-edged sword. 
and it's alive, and it can cut right through what's going on. Now, I'm not giving any glory to myself to have this capacity. It is the Lord's capacity for me to have this uh, wisdom is the word I'm looking for. But let's get back into the introduction more germane here. As we greet you in the only name given. So th there are, this is a Protestant church, non-monetized ministry. Uh, we have um, basic Protestant teaching here. And I, I do get off the page of what most uh, um, canon uh, Bible teachers teach because I teach a flat earth uh, format. And if you go to my science lessons, you, uh, you can see uh, the verification for that. And I'm not going to get into that right now, but uh, that's the only thing that some, some of you or many of you might consider a deviation from uh, Bible doctrine. Now, obviously, I don't agree with that, and uh, we won't get into that right now. There are no financial agreements with any of these uh, videos or anything at all. We, we're completely non-monetized. There will never be any financial agreements here. The only financial agreement that I would agree to is, is if someone wanted to give me $200 million. Because after you gave me $200 million, after the IRS got uh, finished with me and a couple of bills for this and luxury tax and, and insurance and, and lawyers or something, it would probably be $75, $75 million. For those of you who don't know what taxes and this and that, and after you get done with... Some people who have won the lottery, they, they are broke in a couple of years. Now, <laughs> that's why I mentioned that. I don't, I don't want any financial agreements at all. If there's a, an Elon Musk out there or an individual who wants to give me $250 million, that's fine. I, I will leave this, this uh, non-monetized status. The chances of that happening are obviously very slim. Uh, but I could really care less whether they do or don't because the money will not be used for me. That's the point. I'll probably still drive my old used Cadillac. Listen, that's the point. That We have no financial agreements at this time. So we are non-monetized. This is an educational university, so to speak, with a Sunday school, more or less. And that's what we have. It's all meshed together. Now, I'd like to have it a little more organized, but at this time, it's not. And that's just the way it is, very similar to what I just mentioned, but I referenced the, uh, the, the very uh, wise gentleman, Alvin York, who was a, a conscientious objector, who, who eventually signed on and fought the World War II battle and came back the most decorated hero almost in the history of the United States. Well, the thing is that he decided to chuck many an offer to sell things, and he said, I don't use those products, and he went home. Which I think was a very good idea. But the point is, is that he was known for capturing a couple of hundred soldiers by himself uh, with, his, with his ability to shoot and so forth. But here's the point. He went home to a church where everything is kind of meshed together. Sunday school was right there. Uh, the children were there. The babies were in the room. Yeah, hell and damnation teaching was right there with the children. Everybody got everything uh, in one ball of wax. Now, obviously, we're going to do more separation than that here. But I'm just telling you that, sharing with you that, that, that that's basically the format now that we are uh, starting to get back to a little bit of, uh, but we, uh, you know, putting everything kind of in one ball on the, on the uh, channels. That's all it is. That's all I'm saying. Obviously, in 2022, we are getting away from a lot of heresies and things of this nature, you know, and, and harlotry. We will not get into that very much at all this year because of we're going to be sensitive to the Sunday school environment that might be used for some of these videos. That's my point. Because we're, we're going to have some romance videos. And I, I, I've, I've okayed two of them already, but there's some classical music in, that, in those videos, and there is some him stuff in, in those videos. So it's kind of like uh, uh, catering to the world so we might attract some of the world and so forth, as Paul said. But this is an educational university, so to speak, and a Sunday school all mixed in one, okay? And uh, we, we, we will talk a little bit about vocabulary and context and contextualism here, and that'll be a part of this ministry, which means there's going to be a little bit of K through 12 here. So uh, in terms of grammar and so forth, 
let's let's continue as, as I give you an introduction into what this all these videos are about, okay? And a little bit about me and what type of denominational structure do we have here? It kind of speaks for itself, but let, 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 I'm just giving you kind of a heads up here. Now we we have uh, Bible teaching videos and we have some uh, art that I'm going to be sharing with you, some famous artists, and we're going to have some music here. And we might have a little bit of music education pertaining to classical musicians. I might share a little bit of my knowledge since I was a professional pianist and I've taught a little music. I might share with you how to read music or something. Uh, we don't know where we're going with this at this time, but uh, a little bit of art education on painting, 19th century, landscape. I'm going to share with you some high definition photos and stuff like that. Because the theme this year is beauty. Beauty in heaven purity and the rapture. Those are some of the main things that I've focused on, so far I've focused on this year. Beauty is actually the same thing as heaven. The only reason you're seeing beauty is because there's a heaven. That's the point. Some people don't think about that. The only reason you see beauty is because if there's a heaven. If there was no heaven, you wouldn't see any beauty. See, and, and this is what the lesson of the, the year, this is what this year's lesson is all about. Okay? And I have 70, 70 videos available in this particular channel to prove it, that you can just go there and I will teach you a whole lot about that. And um, needless to say, I have, uh, uh, or I'll add that I have my science videos to show you a lot about beauty and so forth too, okay? As far as the uh, celestial and terrestrial physics of creation. I will show that to you. Now, let's continue as, as we, I want to make this Two or three videos, oh, let, let's get going. Now, we are now viewing the 19th century landscapes. Some of my favorite photos, some of them I, I know that many of you are going to enjoy, and we, we're going to add scriptures to that and some hymns. And so that's what we're doing. We're more or less adding beauty to the church more now. We're adding more of uh, this, all of this availability of high definition pictures and so forth, and we're adding all this together. And we're also adding a little bit of Americanism. We're adding some uh, some shots of some famous movies in America. America is, is is a mixed bag. A lot of things done in Hollywood, a lot of things done in romantic music is a part of the church. You see the point? A lot of people who wrote music, the guy who wrote music here in this town, the famous one, Cole Porter, he lived right down the street here. Uh, he's one of the main guys in the history of Western civilization pertaining to romance music. He was raised right around the corner here. We might add some of his songs. In spite of the fact that his life was uh, uh, very checkered, we're not going to get into that. We're going to say that he, he came from a Christian home, and his, his home was an American home of Christian people. We know that as a fact here. So we, we have these problems of, of jockeying back and forth as to who can we put uh, on, on the platform here, and should we? And Well, as a Bible teacher, I screen everything here. So look. So uh, everything here is going to be, as we say, copacetic here. Right? Because when you get out there in the world and romance music, you, you start getting into mental retardation. You start getting into uh, uh, the, the groundwork for psychosis. And I'm aware of all that. However, we can't totally hide, is my point. But everything over the top, especially for children, will never enter into any of these videos that I have. Never. You can take that to the, uh, as they say here in America, the bank or something. Now let's continue with landscapes, photos, and church, and beauty are the themes here. And we're going to, uh, let's talk a, bit, a little bit about me in the next video. We're going to try to wrap this up, okay? We, we, we went into a few things pertaining to uh, how to say hello and so forth. I'll be right back. Maranatha.